big episode that just aired. It was kind of a dark episode. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Uh, well, in six, did you see six? Yeah, six screen uh, last night. The, the six is a, uh, well, we're going to show the teaser, I think, before our panel later. Episode six is a flashback to the arc. So we sort of leave that horrible situation on the arc for this week. Uh, and then pick up the pieces of it next week. But um, this is the story. This is the grounder story. We begin to realize who's out there. They have Octavia. How far will the, her friends, her new friends in many cases, go, her brother certainly, to get her back? Um, and, and the story on the arc is the story of Bellamy and Octavia. It's Octavia's, uh, it's Octavia's life story. That's the flashback for this week on the arc. <laughs> So. Are you planning, planning any other flashbacks? Um, well, we, th it's always sort of a tool in our toolbox that we can go to. I don't, mm, trying to think, I don't think we do it again this year. This is the last flashback episode, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure since I created the show, yeah. This is the last flashback for, of the season. Um, can you tease anything about the finale or where, like, sort of the journey to get from there? The finale is bananas. It's crazy. Um, I can't. It's hard for me to tease the finale, other than to say, the first half of the season has been about the sort of conflict between the hundred. You know, the the Lord of the Flies. Obviously, Lord of the Flies has been used a lot as an analogy for the show by me in, included. It was always in my mind: Will they overcome that internal conflict in time to not get destroyed by the external conflict? represented by the grounders and that's the story that we tell going forward and that's the story that really comes to a head a climax in the finale the finale is braveheart i mean it's it, it is honestly i still can't believe a that we pulled it off b that they let us try to do what we did because it's it's one of the biggest episodes of television that i've ever seen and we didn't it's not like we had you know a huge influx of money to make a bigger episode we just laid it all out there and lived on a knife's edge production wise if, if anything had gone wrong we would not have gotten it done and we got amazingly lucky so so are we gonna be screaming at our tv when it's over hoping for season two and so, well yeah uh, yes and there's a lot of people nobody is safe so there's a lot of people whose lives hang in the balance in that episode people that we really do care about but that's way down the road that's like we're in episode six that's episode 13 so you know it goes by fast it does go by fast it does and my final question for you is is there anything going on or can we hope for anything between bellamy and clark oh that question here's my answer to that is there's obviously amazing chemistry between those two characters and those two actors and we get that. We love that. That's by design to a certain extent and by divine luck. You know, you just never know. That said, the show's not about that, right? It's never going to be about the relationships. It's there. It's fun. Everybody who loves that stuff will definitely be able to root for it, have it, you know, scream, no, I don't want him to be with, her to be with Finn or, you know, I want them to be together, whatever, that's there. But this show is about survival. Are they going to, where, where is their next meal coming from? Is there a grounder hiding behind the tree that they're about to step behind? And when that's what you're worried about in life, who's sleeping with who is a little less important? And so, and that's sort of the way we look at it too. It's, it's for us, it's the, it's the cherry on the sundae or it's like the, you know, it's, it's the icing on the cake, but it's not the cake. 